What's going on, y'all? I'm going to show you how to get that tape stop slowdown effect in Studio One uh, without using Sample One. Uh, so this would be an alternate way. So some of you may be familiar with uh, the way of taking Sample One and uh, putting the part you want to add the effect on into Sample One and pitch bending it down. Uh, this way, I think, is a little easier, just requires a little less steps. And this will work on any version of Studio One, and this is not using any third-party plugins. This will just be a stock Studio One plugin. And I've got a track. I've got a track here produced by Marco Dane. I'm gonna play just the last few bars of it since that's where I want to put the effect. So actually, I'm gonna shorten it. Okay, good. So, and the reason I'm sh I'm shortening it here because the plug-in that we're going to use to get this effect is the analog delay. And so this very last sound here, I don't want to ring out in the delay. That sound. Uh, so cut that back. So the way you get this effect with uh, the delay is, well, first we're going to use some automation because we don't want, of course, the delay. And I'll put the delay you see here on the main output. You know, we don't want the, we don't want the delay to be on the whole track. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just click bypass so we can automate the bypass. And I want it to turn on right after it stops playing. So there's that and just shrink that down some. So to do this with the analog delay, you want your beats of the time. One fourth is good. Uh, you can do it with one half. Really anything, probably about one eighth and up will be, the delay will be too quick to really catch it. But the next automation we're going to do here is the speed, which is this uh, factor knob here. So that's the next thing I'm going to automate. And I want that to start to automate after it stops playing. And we'll do it uh, we'll do it two bars here. Just bring it all the way down. And then once I show you this, I'll, I'll show you just some other very variations that you can do using the analog uh, delay. So let's go back to one fourth. And so as we play these last few bars, it's going to turn the automation is going to turn on the delay. And the speed factor is going to pull all the way counterclockwise to slow it down. And it sounds like this. Okay, so from there, we can obviously tweak this. So if you want this to happen a little sooner, we can... Uh, oh, I said... Let's see. There's two bars. Uh, we can... I'll show it to you with one half... And I'll go back to one fourth is where I, I really like it. And we can, of course, even make it even shorter. And then we're still hearing the delay ring out there. You can bring down the feedback to affect that. So yeah, from here, it's really just tweaking it to taste. Uh, the modulation, you can turn that up, except the modulation here, and just bring that out a little more to hear the modulation more, and that'll sound like this. So you can really tweak the analog delay here and just get many different sounds with it. But there's an alternate way that you can do this tape, tape stop, you know, that slow down effect in Studio One. All right, uh, any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time. I want to invite everyone to check out my new podcast, The Faders Up Podcast. 
It's a podcast about pro audio. I've got me and three other Nashville professionals. We're discussing pro audio, pro audio topics, pro audio lifestyle. And it's available on Apple Podcasts and it's available on Spotify. So check it out, rate it, let me know what you think.